what is going on good people we are back at it but we're coming to you from a different location down here in north carolina uh, at my parents house and this is the lawn that i grew up cutting uh this is, was one of my this is my second introduction uh to maintaining a lawn so uh it is a lot more lawn here than i got to deal with at my place but Today, we are gonna talk about uh, one of the most deadliest diseases or long funguses that I have personally dealt with and I have seen the damage that it can cause and that is Pythium. Uh, so Pythium is one of those diseases that you do not want to play around with. You do not want to delay. Um, so in this video, we are gonna talk about uh, how to prevent it and then how to identify it and also how to cure it if you do happen to get it in your lawn. Let's get into it. All right, so let's start with some of the causes uh, of Pythium and also the identification of that. So causes of Pythium uh, is excessive uh, moisture is one of the uh, key things for causing Pythium. And uh, that can come from either overwatering uh, or especially uh, if you're in the DMV area, Maryland area, uh, right now we are within one of the wettest months of the year uh, for our climate and our region. Uh, so that is those late evening thunderstorms where the uh, grass blades stay wet for long periods of time. That is when you start to see Pythium. Um, normally around uh, the July 4th time period uh, is when I start to see a lot of high pressure uh, for Pythium. Uh, back in 2020, I was wiped out by Pythium, so I know firsthand what this looks like and how quickly uh, it can take over a lawn. The next thing is gonna be uh, how do we identify it? What does Pythium actually look like? So it may start off as like a circular pattern. Uh, it doesn't have to start that way, but it will look like a spot that is uh, kind of sunken in. The grass will be matted, um, matted down close to the ground. Uh, and it also has like a darker oily, uh, kind of greasy look uh, to the leaf blades and to the crown of the plant. Uh, that is a key indicator for Pythium and also going out in the early mornings or nighttime, you will see the mycelium. Um, so the mycelium is also another indicator of uh, determining if you have Pythium. When dealing with Pythium, the best practice is going to be prevention. So I have identified a program that has been successful for me um, over the past a year and a half because we still got a little bit left to go in this season. Um, and it is going to be the use of a fungicide and then also an additive uh, to help out with that prevention. So uh, from a fungicide standpoint, you want to make sure that you are going down with the active ingredient uh, methanoxum. Um, you can find that uh, in the generic brand or also known as a Subdue Max. Uh, so that is the fungicide that I use uh, when it comes to this time of year uh, where the disease pressure is high uh, for Pythium. I normally run that on a 14-day uh, interval, 21-day interval at the max. So when doing that, I go down with the max rate at the shortest interval uh, during this high disease pressure time period. Um, in addition to uh, that fungicide that I'm running, uh, I'm also using an additive, which is phosphites. So I have been running phosphites for the past two years and phosphites will not cure Pythium if you have it in your lawn, uh, but it is a additive from a preventative measure. Uh, so when you combine phosphites with uh, the fungicide, it makes for a deadly combination of preventing and also curing uh, your Pythium if you have it in your lawn. All right, so if you identify that you have Pythium in your lawn, the best thing that I can tell you is do not wait, do not delay. Uh, this disease is deadly. Uh, it will continue to spread if left untreated um, and it can wipe out your lawn within a number of days. We're not talking weeks, we're talking days. Uh, so make sure that you are 
paying attention to your lawn, you're walking your lawn during this period of time and identifying if you have any issues or any pythium in your lawn. So if you're striving to have those immaculate lawns or gardens, just know we worked.